Welcome back to my channel guys, it's time for another anime review. Welcome once again. There's going to be an anime review that's airing, or that aired, sorry, uh, exclusively on High Dive. Um, the series itself is called Farming Life in Another World. Um, it is a unique series. Um, one being the fact that there is a baby born in this series. Uh, and I'll explain that. It also explain how confused I was about it. <laughs> um, but before anything, if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, try my best to get back on the groove on releasing regular videos, uh, five to six videos per week. Um, so yeah, I'll try my best to do that. Um, on top of manga, uh, chapter reviews and, and reactions as well. So um, hopefully, Hopefully this video makes well on time. So, um, again, if you haven't watched other my other anime reviews, I have quite a bit of them. Uh, I think anime reviews were one of the very first series that I started here on my channel that hasn't ended. Um, that is actually one of the reasons why I made this channel was to just talk about animes that I like and that I watched or am watching. So um, yeah, you can find old, old videos and you can find new videos on anime reviews. Uh, I've been doing it for a long, long time. So, okay. Farming Life in Another World. Now again, this one aired on High Dive. There is 12 episodes out and I believe believe it is both dubbed and subbed in high dive so you can watch it either in Japanese with subtitles in English or uh, in English you know dubbed in English so um, I dropped this one because I thought it was gonna be um, more of a harem style anime and it kind of was but it kind of wasn't um, so we have our main character, Machio, and Machio is reincarnated, he's a protagonist, he's reincarnated into this world, and he has basically endless stamina, um, he is, he has this, like, farming tool that helps him, and, you know, he's reincarnated with, like, some overpowering powers that almost everyone has in the series. Well, he's reincarnated in what happens to be, like, a very dangerous forest that he doesn't know it's dangerous, and he starts making friends with basically anything. Um, he makes friends with a pack of wolves and a, a, a spider, and they end up being, like, really dangerous uh, in the eyes of everyone else, but then he also ends up um, uh, helping a female vampire who um, started, like, she... I guess her initial uh, interest in him was the medicinal plants that he had, um, and she just kind of stayed, and that's kind of the beginning of the... Um, his settlement. Uh, he starts farming because he needs food for to feed the dogs and the spider and now this vampire. And from there, people just start arriving left and right. I mean, I, I think even in the last episode, people arrive to join the party. But um, we have uh, an angel who is known as the... Uh, like one of like the worst angels like not worse but like deadliest angels i believe her name is tia she shows up and then uh ria uh an elf shows up with uh, more uh, elves and her goal is to reproduce and make you know make the elf uh civilization survive and um then Anne and an ogre uh, shows up with other ogres, and they're used as the maids in the civilization. And then we have um, some elves, not sorry, not, not elves, some dwarves uh, who are mainly guys, and they show up, and they kind of do the um, the heavy lifting, but also a lot of the uh, brewery for the alcohol, because everyone ends up enjoying the alcohol. And then there is humans who do arrive at one point, and they're kind of like a a reoccurring joke. They're 
like each time someone new arrives they're like oh my gosh they're growing their army they're gonna attack us and kill us and they're so worried that this civilization is gonna be, be basically going against the kingdom but they're really not they're just chilling they're just enjoying life and um so yeah there's there's the humans and then there is dragons that show up as well and essentially they're just there to chill as well and they, they do end up helping somewhat um and then i think the last group that arrives which is like episode 10 or 11 that actually adds to the story are the mountain elves which i guess are different from the other elves now again a lot of the first characters that were joining were a bunch of girls and they were all joining the community which again to me it was like okay this is a harem right um because a lot of them were saying they want to reproduce um now at some point i don't know when at some point Machio, um or sorry uh rue the vampire she gets pregnant and Machio's like, oh my gosh, you're pregnant. And that's, that just kind of is the ending of basically the last three episodes is them um, taking care of Rue, preparing for the birth and so on and so forth. And then the birth happens and they celebrate and so on and so forth. Um, but none, nothing's ever mentioned that they were, a th at least I didn't even think there was mention of that they were like an exclusive thing and that there was any action happening because I almost feel like even up to episode 11, um, Machio goes to sleep on his own, on his own bed with you know, no Rue there. So I don't know how the impregnation happened, but there was impregnation to the vampire and it's very clear. Like at one point I was like, well, maybe it's not Machio's, but no, they make it very clear because he calls them, this is my, my new son. I'm going to see my son grow up in this village. Um, it's his son. So, um, I, I, I think that in a way broke a little bit of the genre that has not been seen or used before uh, a lot of series that are reincarnated series you don't see that you don't see someone getting pregnant you don't see someone getting giving birth especially being like a main um a main i consider her a main character i don't think she's listed as a main character but i consider her a main character because she's a very much reoccurring character um you know as as one of the first members of the civilization so don't remember that ever happening in a series i could be wrong but don't remember happening in an easy kai series at the very least uh always when stuff like that is implied that oh it's gonna be a harem he never chooses a girl but i guess he did or maybe he didn't i, I don't know um but yeah that was extremely interesting um the series itself is fun it's it's not a you know take too serious series to be honest um i would appreciate it a little bit more of a deeper plot with some of these characters um they did try to give some background story to some of them um but because there was just so many of them being added left and right, um, it was a little overwhelming, and you don't really get attached to much of them other than Machio. And really, at the end, you get a little attached to Rue because she's like the chosen one and got pregnant, you know, so on and so forth. But um, it reminds me, and I, I am reviewing this one as well today, uh, Reborn as a Vending Machine, because Reborn as a Vending Machine had so many characters that got added throughout the episodes as well that other than the two main characters you don't really fall in love with anyone else so uh, this one's kind of the same they're just way too many characters which i understand it's kind of a civilization building series um so i can see why why it's like that now uh anime wise i don't think there's been a i don't think there's i'm, I'm looking here i don't think there's been a um second season announced yet for uh the anime i know there is 11 volumes of the manga uh in which 
Uh, only about eight of them have released so far here in the U.S. And um, as far as I know, all light novels have released uh, on as an online light novel here in the U.S. as of this April. So, um, which was 15 volumes of the light novel, which uh, I don't know the manga. Yeah, I think the manga is still not finished. So. Even with the 11 chapters that have released, I uh, think there's more to come. So I wouldn't doubt that this might have a second season. Um, I will say I I actually wouldn't mind it. it it's, it's a decent series. It's fun. Um, definitely not one that I would have watched week by week, but it's one that I did enjoy. So go check it out. It's on High Dive, 12 episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't done so by now, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the love and support that you do show this channel. And guys, like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.